L R U E. Oh, I like that Thank name. You. Thompson. Pretty. Okay. LaRue. I love that. I'm Kate. Nice. I only have a common name, Kate. Okay. But anyway, nice, nice to meet you. you. Yeah. And what's your name? Yes. Yes. You I don't. Why do you ask? Yes. What'd you ask her? Don't oh. worry about it. <laughs> We've had a little beer. No, I so anyway, Libra, I'm going to uh, get you to shuffle the cards and just move them around or however you'd like to shuffle them. It well, doesn't I matter. Well, I used to shuffle. No, 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 no. You have to shuffle like that. Just big. mix them up. Yeah, they're pretty big and pretty worn. Yeah, these are pretty big. They're not like regular cards. They're so. not. They're so, not. let's see. But now, if, and I'll just tell you, too, if you have a question in your mind pertaining to yourself, and you want to uh, think of it, that's fine. Don't share it with me. Okay. Um, if you don't have one in particular, then don't worry about don't it. Don't worry about it. Okay. I, yeah, may, okay. I, may, I may have one. Okay. And we'll see if it answers. Okay. We'll see what, it, what comes up. Okay, so I'll get you to divide those into three different piles. They don't have to be even. Oh, she's good. She's getting this, so later on you'll remember it. <laughs> we got to remember it because we're all drunk. <laughs> I'm glad. No, I'm glad you're filming. It's good. Then, she, then she'll remember. All right. So I'll get you to pick nine cards from the deck, and as you pick each, oops, as you pick each card out, just flip it over right there. Flip it over. Yes, ma'am. Good. <laughs> you have to try to lay them straight up or straight down. She's okay. She's I'm, getting I'm it. I'm just letting her know. Hey, are you mouthing over there? No, I'm saying. It does. You got the best upper kids down in the world. Is a I, difference. Have, I have the best kids in the world. I think it's nice that they come and support you. Yeah. I'm, and I'm down here, I'm them. down here visiting, and I've got all three of them together for Thanksgiving. So this oh, I think you're. I'm looking for my scarf. I think you're pretty lucky to have all your children with you. It's sometimes a little hard to coordinate that, you know. Right. Woo. Okay. So first off. I'll tell you what each card's saying, and then I'll summarize it. Okay. When you're looking at the Queen of Cups, cups talk about emotion, but they also go back to the past, to the summer, to the months of June, July, and August. And at that time, it was showing... <laughs> so you're nodding. Okay. It's just showing, really, um, more. saying more it's important for you to have a connection to what it is that you're, you're doing. Uh, and when I'm saying that to you... Typically, more in a work-related way, it's in, it was important to you, or is important to you, to have that connection for you to really do well with it. It also can mean that you love animals, or there's a connection with animals, or that you tend to keep your emotions more to yourself, or more hidden. Okay, here we are with strength. And that is, is exactly what it's talking about. That's the astrological sign of uh, Leo the lion. But it's also a major arcana card, which only means to you that there is no timeline attached to it, like a particular month. So it just means that you're really having to tap into inner strength to overcome a lot of, uh, not a lot, but some obstacles or some problems that you're going through. <laughs> And I want to say, I want to say something too, Larue. When you're when you're pulling that card, strength, you were pulling that in the past tense. It was implying a past tense. So at the end of the reading, I'll try to tell you when I I feel like that occurred. Okay, deceptive card by how it looks, um, and we're talking about the now, the months of September, October, November. So wands just mean ideas or plans for the future. But the card actually is talking about being really frustrated with a situation that you're in or at times feeling like you're just wanting to quit or, or give up. All right, here we are with the King of Cups. Okay, 
So you pulled the king and the queen. Also going back to the months of June, July, and August. But at that time, very different meaning from the queen because it's talking about um, gravitating more to, towards your home or really preferring to spend more time at your house. It can also mean, too, um, feeling like an emotional void or not expressing your emotions openly. Like, I'll just say this, too. I feel like it's, it's more of not really wanting to be the downer or not wanting to be let people know how you're really thinking and feeling about a situation. Okay. The, the, two, the two of Pentacles go back to the spring, March, April, May. And at that time, um, it was showing you, and I feel like it was more March, April of last spring, really kind of rocking along or feeling like you were kind of between a rock and a hard place or a little bit of a, a struggle. She explained her why the difference in that is it's in uh -huh. her What's that? Can you tell her why? There's a difference in that when it's in burgers or when it's not that? Well, because it's in the past tense. It's in the past tense. I, I, just, well, I don't know. Well, never mind. She probably doesn't understand. But I just wanted you to understand why the cards are inverted. Why, why? Inverted. Inverted. So why was it upside down? Inverted. Why was upside down? Two of Pentacles inverted. Anyways, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm not, no, it's okay, it's Wes. Okay. No, I'm. And if you have a question, just ask. I don't mind. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know what is what you all what, what that means. No, it just means it's changed. It, no, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, and rather than well, rather than being in the in the present tense, rather than something that you're going through right now, it was talking about going through that period back last spring, March, April, May. Okay, I know what that might have been. There you go. So, also I with do. this. Yeah, well, yeah. Also with this this you know, card, too. also with this card, the same time period, uh, last spring, March, April, May. Okay, so when, and I want to clarify to you something too with this. Work is anything that you're putting effort into, whether it's actual work or a project or any uh, plans that you have at the house um, or volunteer. But the card itself is really talking about dissatisfaction during those months or feeling like you weren't making the headway with your plans that you'd, you'd hoped. And really either thinking about um, quitting altogether or, or making a change. It's not an action card. It's just saying you were thinking about it. Okay, so this is coming up and, I, and it's a little bit vague because it... I call it more of a connective card, but this is coming into the near future, to the months of December, January, February. Swords represent act, can it represent action and or conflict. In this case, it's more of an action card. When you're looking at a knight, and especially in an upright position with a horse, you're looking at speed or you're looking at progress being made. So whether you feel that you've been at a standstill with your plans in the next in the past few months, I should say, it's like now in the next few months more acceleration or feeling like progress being made. You can see actually action or taking your plans to the next level. Okay, and lucky you, you get another back to the spring. Okay. Um, March, April, May. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles, yeah, a little frustrating because the Knight of Pentacles is talking about putting effort into a project, and it might seem a little repetitious here, but putting effort into a project, but also not feeling like you were making the progress that you needed to be making at that time. Now, that being said, later on in the spring going into the summer, then it was showing more progress being made later on. But in the very beginning, it was almost like spinning your wheels or putting in effort and feeling like you weren't getting anywhere. 
and another card going back to the spring, but yeah. totally different from all the other ones right. that we're talking about. Um, and very positive because it's a, a 10 in numerology, and a 10 in numerology implies the end to a particular situation or the end of one chapter of your life and the beginning of a new phase. But the card itself is focusing more on family or even connecting with distant family members um, during those months or just that was like the primary focus. So when I'm looking at your reading, I do feel like this. Yeah, a lot of it is revolving around the past with you. And I'm going to say it, I feel like it's still an ongoing issue with you. Because I feel like, I feel like this. I feel like coming into um, last, even last spring, R.J. May in that time frame, and I keep getting like more March, April, I see you trying to uh, push ahead or to persevere with a problem that you were having or an issue you were working on and really feeling again like you were spinning your wheels or, or really um, putting in the, the extra effort but not at times I feel like it was getting so frustrating like just quitting or giving up and I still feel like that this is an issue that you're still working on because I do feel like that you go through these periods in time where you're getting